Mabuhay and welcome learners! I am Sir Kevin, your teacher in technology and livelihood education. Today, join me as we develop your life skills in information and communication technology or ICT. Be ready, get your pen, notebook, and self-instructional pockets or side packs, and let us begin our TLE journey. Before we start our discussion for today, I will give you first a short background about Technology and Livelihood Education or TLE. TLE is geared toward the development of technological proficiency and is anchored on knowledge and information, entrepreneurial concepts, process and delivery, work values, as well as life skills. In simple words, TLE by its nature is dominantly a skill subject. TLE is composed of four different specializations. Number one, agriculture and fishery arts. Number two, home economics. Number three, industrial arts. And number four, information and communication technology or ICT. For our first quarter, our topic will be focusing on information and communication technology or ICT, particularly computer hardware servicing or CHS. What is CHS? Why do we need to study CHS? According to TESDA or Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, CHS covers the basic and common competencies such as installing, maintaining, configuring, and diagnosing computer systems and networks. When we say TESDA is a government agency that provides technical education and skills development in the Philippines. What are you going to learn in CHS or Computer Hardware Servicing? Here, you can learn the following competencies. Number one, use hand tools. Number two, perform mensuration and calculation. Number three, prepare and interpret drawing. And number four, practice occupational health and safety procedures. Let us now begin our ICT journey. For our learning objective for today is prepare hand tools and equipment for computer hardware servicing and this is based from the most essential learning competencies. This lesson is specifically aims to number one, list hand tools and equipment based on job requirement and number two, identify appropriate hand tools and equipment. Can you see what in front of me? Very good! These are tools. Do you want to play a game class? Nice! Let's play a game. Our game is entitled as Just Say Yes or No. The objective of our game is to identify the tools we need in computer hardware servicing or CHS. You will say yes if it is a tool we need in CHS and no if it is not. Are you ready? Very good. Let's start. Can we use a screwdriver in CHS? Very good. Yes. Can we use hammer in CHS? Very good again. No. What about can we use pliers in CHS? Fantastic! Yes! Very good for performing very well in our game. Our topic for today is preparing hand tools and equipment for computer hardware servicing. The CHS tools are divided into four categories. Number one, ESD tools. The anti-static mats and the anti-static restrop are the examples of ESD tools. The second one, we have the hand tools. The Phillips screwdriver, hex driver, wire cutter are some of the examples of hand tools in CHS. Number three, cleaning tools. Cable ties, compressed air, 
lint-free cloth, and parts organizer are examples of cleaning tools. And lastly, diagnostic tools. The multimeter and look-back adapter are examples of diagnostic tools. Let us discuss each of the tool types in greater details. Have you ever experienced feeling of small electric shock when handling door handle? Naranasan mo na bang makaramdam ng pagkakuryente nung pagkahawak mo sa doorknob ng inyong bahay? Great! That experience is called electrostatic discharge experience. What is static electricity now? Isn't it in science you've learned about the different types of electricity? And one of the types of electricity is static electricity. So what is static electricity? Very good. When we say static electricity is the buildup of an electrical charge on the surface of an object. It is called static because the charges remains in the area rather than moving or flowing to another area. That is why static electricity is also known as electricity not in motion. So, paano ba na po produce ang static electricity? Static electricity can be generated by friction, by friction on the carpets, on the tiles, flooring, clothing, hair, fabric, as well as metal. What is ESD or electrostatic discharge? An electrostatic discharge or ESD is the build of electrical charge on the surface of the object. ESD or electrostatic discharge can pose a danger to a computer as the computer is struck by an ESD or electrostatic discharge may not be able to function. Ang ibig sabihin nito, kapag ang computer parts ay tinamaan ng ESD or electrostatic discharge, maaaring hindi na ito gumana or hindi na ito mag-function. So how can we prevent ESD damage? So we can prevent it by grounding ourselves. So when we say grounding, it means releasing the ESD or electrostatic discharge from our bodies. We can do this by simply holding the non-painted metal part of the computer. Just make sure that the computer unit is power off as well as unplugged. We can also do this by using anti-static wrist strap as well as anti-static mat. Uh, we can use these um, tools to prevent ESD damage from happening. So what do you mean by anti-static wrist strap? Anti-static wrist strap is being used to prevent ESD damage from our computer. What about anti-static mat? It is used to stand on or place hardware on to prevent static electricity from building up. Again, anti-static wrist strap and anti-static mat are examples of ESD tools or electrostatic discharge tools. Next, hand tools. Hand tools, these are devices that can be manually operated by the hand. There are nine hand tools used in CHS. What do you call this one? Very good. This one is flathead screwdriver. What is the function of flathead screwdriver? Flathead screwdriver, it is used for loosening and tightening negative screws. What do you call this one? Fantastic! This one is Phillips screwdriver. What is the function of Phillips screwdriver? Phillips screwdriver, it is also used for loosening and tightening positive screws. What about this one? Great! This one is Torx screwdriver. What is the function of Torx screwdriver? Torx screwdriver, it is also being used for loosening and tightening screws that have star-like depression on the top. Screws that have star-like depression on the top is mainly found on laptop. 
What about this handle? What do you call this one? Great! This one is hex driver. What is the function of hex driver? Hex driver, it is also known as nut driver. It is used to tighten nuts in the same way that a screwdriver tightens screws. What about the next one? What do you call this one? Very good! This one is needle nose pliers. What is the function of needle nose pliers? Needle nose pliers, it is used to hold small parts or small components of computer. What about the next one? What do you call this one? Very good! This one is wire cutter. What is the function of wire cutter? Great! Wire cutter, it is used to cut and to strips wire. What about this one? Great! This one is tweezers. What is the function of tweezers? Tweezers, it is used for manipulating small parts of computer unit. What about this one? Great! This one is the part retriever. What is the function of part retriever? Great! It is used to retrieve parts from location that are too small for your hand to fit. What about the last one? Fantastic! This one is flashlight. What is the use of flashlight? Very nice! Flashlight, it is used to light up areas that you cannot see well. Again, those are considered as hand tools. Those are examples of hand tools being used in computer hardware servicing. There is a saying that cleanliness is next to godliness. That is why our next category of tools are cleaning tools. One of the major problems is the messy cables. What do we do about it? The answer is by using cable ties. What is the use of cable ties? Cable ties is used to bundle cables neatly inside and outside the computer. In other words, Cable ties can make your cable neat and organized. What do you call this one? Very good! The name of this cleaning tool is lint-free cloth. Lint-free cloth is also known as microfiber cloth. Lint-free cloth is used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris. How do you clean the dust from your computer keyboard? Great! By using compressed air. So what is the function of compressed air? Compressed air, it is used to blow away dust and debris from different parts of the computer without touching the component. And lastly, what do you call this one? Fantastic! This one is parts organizer. What is the function of parts organizer? Parts organizer, it is used to hold screws, jumpers, fasteners, and other small parts and prevents them from getting mixed together. The last group of CHS tools are diagnostic tools. The common tools for diagnosing computer problems are multimeter and look-back adapter. Let's have the first one. Multimeter. What is the function of multimeter? It is used to test the integrity of the circuits and the quality of the electricity in computer components. Lastly, we have the loopback adapter. What is the function of loopback adapter? Loopback adapter, it is used to test the functionality of the computer ports. Again, multimeter as well as loopback adapter are examples of diagnostic tools in CHS. I hope you had a fun time learning with me. Let's see if you listen really well to our discussion. Let's have a short activity. Our activity is entitled as, What will I use? The objective of our activity is to identify the best tool to be used in each situation. You have only 3 seconds to answer. 
Are you ready? Let's start. The first question. We have positive screws. What screwdriver do we need to use to fasten and loosen it? Very good. The answer is Phillips screwdriver. Number two, we have starlight screws. What hand tool do we need to use to fasten and loosen it? Fantastic! The answer is Torx screwdriver. Number three, do we need to organize neatly the computer cable? What cleaning tool do we need to use? Great! The answer is Number four, we need to remove the dust from, from the LCD screen. What tool do we need to use? Great! The answer is lint-free cloth. Lastly, uh, we need to test the functionality of the computer ports. What tool do we need to use? Fantastic! The answer is look-back adapter. I hope you had fun and learned a lot in our discussion for today. For our next lesson, we will be discussing about preventive maintenance and proper storage of tools, parts, and equipment. With that, keep safe and God bless. Bye-bye!